What's up my people, it's your boy Kwame, the Neighborhood Neuroscientist, AKA The Hood Neuro, here to talk to you today about hate, violence, and labeling. The human brain, or at least parts of it, desire efficiency. Uh, we wanna be able to find simple answers, we wanna be able to find the straightest line between point A and point B, right? We're set up to conserve energy in our brains. Now part of that is good, we can accomplish great things that way. But part of that is bad because we start to label whole groups of people because we want to be efficient, because we want a simple answer, because simplicity makes us feel safer. When you can say gay people are destroying the sanctity of marriage, when you can say, well, by the way, that's not true, right? Money and ambition towards uh, hoarding wealth are destroying the sanctity of marriage more than anything else. But when you can say something like that is true, that now you got this one group, instead of this whole complex series of factors that, that influence how we live and how we interact with one another, that's hard to solve. But if you get rid of this one group of people, if you stop them from being who they are, then you get to solve the problem immediately, right? When we think about terrorism, we say, okay, uh, Muslims are evil. There's something evil about Islam and the Quran that is causing people violence. Then you don't have to consider all the history, all the economic factors, all the sociocultural factors that have poured into people using religion as a backdrop. And by the way, our army does it too. We go to war for good. We go to war to fight for God, right? We do the same thing. Every army has indoctrinated its soldiers from the beginning of time to believe that they are fighting for good. Otherwise, how could you get people to kill other people as if they're not human? It's the only way you do that is to label as good and evil, as hero and villain. But it doesn't really solve anything. It just kicks the can down the road. It keeps us playing whack-a-mole, right? One group pops up and, and commits violence, so we try to whack them down, right? But I want to remove the cover off the whack-a-mole machine. And let's find out how this thing works. You know, what we do by labeling and say, okay, it's Islamic terrorism. Have you solved it yet? No, homie, you haven't solved it yet by saying that. It's a lot like I ask you how a car works and you say, hey, that's a car. We're done, right? No, we're not done, homie. We're not done because you still haven't told me how the transmission works. You still haven't told me how the drivetrain works itself. You still haven't told me how to turn the dog on thing. You still haven't told me how to make it better. How do we construct a better engine? How do we construct better engines for humanity that respect other people, that respect the earth? We don't solve that by labeling all people that share this one characteristic and by lumping them with those who commit atrocious acts. Because guess what? Each one of those groups, 99% of them mean you no harm. And I'm talking about black folks. I'm talking about white folks. I'm talking about Muslims. I'm talking about Christians, right? Let's, Let's start really looking at the root. Post below this video, what are your thoughts on the roots of violence? What are your thoughts on the roots of terrorism? What are your thoughts on how we can solve this?